Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to day three of the Self Discovery Revolution Challenge. So, welcome, everyone, and hope you all had an amazing Wednesday. It's the first of November, it's a brand new month, and I am super excited because we um, tonight are going to be talking about the benefits of having um, a sisterhood community. And also we're gonna do the grand prize drawing for, um, I, I have a grand prize drawing for the person who is going to be live tonight for the 365 day domestic violence healing journal planner. But before we do that, if you are watching this live right now, please hashtag live in the comments and please let me know where you are tuning in from. And if you are watching the replay, please hashtag replay. And I also, I am going to be bringing on a very special guest. Her name is Trisha Manassas. And I had the pleasure of connecting with Trisha in the summertime. Um, we connected and, you know, she has um, transitioned out of domestic violence. She took my um, self-discovery revolution challenge back in late August, early September. And um, she is now a founding member of my Domestic Violence Circle membership program. So without further ado, she's gonna be sharing her amazing testimonial, when I'm, which I'm really looking forward to. So let's bring on Trisha. Hello, everyone. Hi, Trisha, how are you? I'm good, thanks for having me, Angeline. Oh, you're welcome. And it's a pleasure to have you here. It is a pleasure um, to have you here. So what is the time? So I have a question for you. What is the time right now where you are in Australia? It's 11.08 a.m. in the morning. Wow. Okay. So the time changed then, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Because guess what? Our time is changing over the weekend on Sunday. November 5th. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So well, I'm so happy and elated and blessed to have you here tonight um, with us because I know, you know, you have have gone through domestic violence. So where were you before um, taking my course and taking the challenge? So where, um, where were you, you know, um, I was, um, I was feeling really lonely and didn't have much support. I had anxiety, depression, and I just had that feeling that I wasn't good enough uh, with myself. And I needed, I wanted more help. Um, I was getting counseling sessions uh, prior to Angeline and that really helped, but that was like every, every month. Um, which was not really much a support for me where I, I needed more help to help me with taking control of my emotions, um, doing a lot of things for myself. I am also a single mom and having have a son that have autism, which you can see in the picture. Um, he is 13 years old and the role of me being a mom to him and this whole DV uh, was putting a lot of pressure onto myself. So I was basically um, at a state where I was having mental breakdowns, didn't know much about the different things about um, how to, you know, release the emotions with myself. Um, like I yeah it was something where like for example i felt like i was in a box like I, I felt like i was in a box that i simply couldn't step out of that that box because i was that i had the fear of going out having anxiety panic attacks every time i see things that related to my ex so i um had to find a way to before myself to do personal development and this is where i met Angeline and um, did her challenge like this in her first challenge and I was able to to learn more um, with her first challenge and understand that 
you can um, move uh, move forward and do recovery uh, with yourself with healing. Um, it does take time. I took me time to rediscover myself. I was actually I actually did social media detox for for one month to relax mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, so I'm, I'm very grateful to have Angeline um, supporting me all the way uh, through this program. And yeah. Well, that's great. That's great. And I know that you mentioned, um, and I'm very proud of you for all your progress. You know, I'm very, very, you know, proud of you because I know, you know, you were coming from a place where there was lack of support. Oh, here's Dawn Rose. Hi, Dawn. Good evening. How are Hi, you? Dawn. <coughs> Great to have you here, Dawn. Dawn has been showing up every single day. So, um, yeah. And I know, so Dawn, when you get a chance, you know, you can um, go back and watch the replay. Um, it's only like the first six minutes. So what did you get out of the self-discovery revolution workshop? What was your biggest takeaway? The biggest takeaway for me was understanding that um, it wasn't my fault, that it was never our fault that uh, what happened to us in the first place, because we were programmed in my mind that it was um, that or in our minds that um, that it is our fault because they are putting uh, putting stuff to us, putting us down. And also you get the blame and, and all of that stuff so my my biggest takeaway from your program was is that it's not my fault and also going on self-discovery dates and journaling and breathing techniques and meditation and um i needed a program to help me more to understand um how i can move forward and have a recovery uh, mindset um, right. to help me with myself as well okay so help with mindset and dawn says exactly so um you know as far as the dv circle membership movement because i know that you were very interested um what um so when you took that what what went through your mind when you actually purchased the program for, from me and i know that you started working on journaling you were posting on facebook you were posting you know like your test your testimonial and your biggest takeaway like you were really really happy i could see that you were glowing like i could see the progress so in terms of you know my um dv circle membership program what have you gotten out of it so far through you know our and our weekly what have you got out of it um during our weekly sessions and the modules um, yes um so the first week i started doing journaling i have been doing journaling prior to uh angeline's um program but i had stopped due to the pandemic and my son starting high school so i've gone back to journaling and it really helped me to put everything down onto paper and start to focus. Um, and then I moved into uh, meditation where I actually downloaded Angeline's meditation and um, been listening to that. I have um, made a notion, a dashboard for self-discovery and healing to help me with her program. Um, I've also done a like, I've been listening to a meditation from another lifestyle YouTuber called Lavender that um, really helped me to refocus where she right. does the breathing technique at the same time. I the, the next module was the breathing technique where I was able to learn different techniques um, and have been using that um, every day. Uh, just last week, I attended a DV workshop and um, in this area was basically a place where my ex used to work and mm. what works. And um, I was getting a little panic attack at that moment. So I decided to reach out to Angeline's breathing technique and use her breathing technique to calm myself down. And 
I really felt that I had control with myself when I had um, the anxiety or the panic attacks. Um, so then when I reached to the, the place where my workshop was for domestic violence, um, I was really refreshed to, to be myself and, you know, uh, attend the workshop without getting um, distracted by if it's he or not. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. And what have you gotten out of the, and I'm, and I know that you also started to go out and practice some self care also. Um, so before I did my social media detox, I went out and did a self care day um, at a, a, at a coffee shop. And, um, I decided to do that, uh, but unfortunately, I couldn't do any uh, do more because school holidays and a lot of things happening. And um, the, this time, I'll be doing it again. I just need to find time to actually do that. Um, it was really great to to actually go out by yourself and enjoy the moment that you have uh, without anyone with you because it's a it's a great feeling. Like you're you like you are able to uh, connect with your inner self and get, mm. to, get to know yourself even more and um, learn to love yourself as well. And just recently I um, went to a hiking experience uh, with my Bible study friends. Uh, lucky enough, my mom was able to look after my son. So um, I, was, I did hiking at the Blue Mountains um, and mm. got to meet new people. Uh, reconnected with the people that I've met previously. Um, it was a good experience for me to actually get out and um, instead of staying at home all the time. Right, right, and that's great. And now with the workshop um, that you attended last week for the first time, what did that look like? What did that look like and what was your um biggest takeaway because i know that you were concerned about going to the workshop because it was near where your ex used to work is that correct yes okay, okay. and yes and dawn is saying learning to love yourself is the second hardest part exactly 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 so what did you get out of that that you went in person so when you went in person and now it um i think from what you told me you also have an accountability partner too so you you have someone that you can um talk to so um when i attended the db workshop for the first time last week uh because it was the second week uh of this workshop and they were talking about in the first sessions um about the brain and now i cannot pronounce the the name of the particular thing that they were talking about um it's called the amy amy amy, amy Lee, uh, i think it's called amy, yeah that one yes yeah, that one um where she referred it as a smoke alarm and so when you are triggered by a panic attack or a um a like uh, anxiety depression or anything that triggers your your mind to to trigger and make a response out of your way of noticing that the smoke alarm is sticking or going off where you can bring out the breathing technique to calm it down. So like when you have a smoke alarm, it will go off and you'll get the cloth, whatever, and you put it out. For us, we use our breathing technique to calm ourselves down. Okay, okay. Okay. And um, did they give you like resources? Did they give you tools? Because um, I know that you shared. Us, some, yeah. Go they ahead. didn't give us resources last week, but I was able to find them on um, Google and made my own uh, Canva presentation or graphic myself to actually uh, memorize what I've learned last lesson. Um, they did tell us that they were going to give it yesterday. Unfortunately, I didn't attend yesterday uh, due to some medical issues that I had. Um, so I had to uh, to regain focus with uh, this uh, my my um, this workshop and say to myself that look, 
I need to attend these workshops to to continue the sessions um, even though that I have a account uh, a partner to work with she is very helpful she also came from a DV herself um, wow. that wants to heal and recover and um, she's willing to help she's asked for me to uh, I'll give you a lift uh, I'll take you there to and from um, have coffee dates and the one thing that really stood me out in um, Angeline's uh, program was creating a supportive community that the people that can understand you and your situation. So I have um, the DV workshop where I created friends. I had um, Bible study where they like they fellowship members that they truly didn't care about what was happening around your personal issues, but they really care about that you're in that environment to learn the same thing. So they are willing to help you to, to heal and recover from what you're going through. Um, there's another uh, counseling sessions I've done, um, you know, every week where she gives me resources as well, away from the DV workshop and Angeline's workshop. So I was, I've got a lot of resources from different uh, places where I could actually pull out a toolbox and use them myself. Oh, good. That's good. Wow, that is amazing. That is amazing. Well, I'm very, very proud of you, Trisha, because you've made so much progress. And, you know, going forward, what is your goal? You know, what is your goal? Because I know, you know, with, I know that you have an autistic son and, you know, that can present some challenges too, but you've done so well. I mean, you know, we've, we've had weekly sessions um, you know, and I know that you've highlighted some of your greatest experiences working with me. So what do you see, um, for you, for the future? What are your goals? My goals, and this is one of the, uh, questions that I got asked with my counseling session and okay. she, um, we focused on different like four areas, which I actually forgot at the moment um but one was working with relationships like relationships with um with family with friends creating conversations with others so that's one goal that i can do because going through the dv we all think that um it's our fault that we have and we have our mindset to believe that we are not good enough so when we try to tell people about a story or something um they they tend to look away at you um, because you keep repeating your story over and over again. And so um, I'm trying to learn how to create conversations with others that are relating to what they're talking about. Okay. Okay. All right. Very good. That That is awesome. That yeah. Is and amazing. basically, of course, I really want to work and, um, you know, and do other things like leisure activities. But my time is sort of limited because of my son. And um, although he he's uh, independent um, in some areas, there's some areas that he's not. And um, I just have the, I'm not confident enough to, to leave him by himself. Okay, not yet, not yet. Not yet. And how old, and how, how old is your son? he is uh turning 14 this month wow oh my goodness oh geez <laughs> uh you have an amazing son and you have an amazing um family and you've been able to you know bond with people you know to create that those supportive connections because that i know was really really important for you and it also was, yeah. yes it was really hard to um form relationships or have supportive community that can understand you um it was really hard and just trying to find the the right people um is a big step for me where i can un uh, talk to people like you or other um people that are in a similar journey as mine um that have so like i when i went to this hiking experience um this is away from dv but her son was also diagnosed with autism and he, he's only four years old 
And um, so I've connected with others. There is another one that I uh, haven't connected with, but she did a um, like a testimony uh, with her Bible study, um, which she did on via Zoom. And she went through like me, like a single mum um, going through DB uh, with physical abuse and all of that. So I understood her journey and I was crying myself because I could relate to, to her in a way. So there are many people out there that have similar paths just like you. You just have to sort of search which ones that are, that are suited best for yourself. Right. Exactly. 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 Well, I want to thank you, Trisha, for being such an amazing special guest tonight, um, you know, for day three. So, you know, for those of you who are watching the live, let me know what your biggest takeaway is um, here tonight. And what we're going to do is we're going to continue with the workshop tonight. So, Trisha, you know, I know you probably have some things that you have to take care of. Um, and Dawn says, thank you for sharing. No, so, not a problem. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, what I want to say is this. This is the benefit of social media. This is the power of social media is to be able to connect with women from all over the world. Now, look at Trisha. I mean, Trisha actually came to, you know, Michelle um, Gilroy Webb, who is my uh, business coach. And basically, you know, she came to me because she heard yeah. about my program. So, you know, networking, talking to people, you know, like this is the power of social media. Because, you know, traveling to Australia for me would be a 26-hour trip. You know, it would be like two days. But, you know, for us, we can meet online on Zoom and now tonight on StreamYard. So, you know, this is the power that we have, that we're able to connect not only virtually, but um, also, you know, Trisha attends a um, workshop now every week in her area. And that's amazing. And I, yes, I agree, Dawn. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's the power of connecting with everyone from all over the world. And this is the power that we have of social media. And no one can take that away from us. No one. So anyways, Trisha, thank you so much. Blessings and love. Thank you for having me. Oh, uh, so it's a pleasure to have you here. And uh, we will talk soon and feel free to, you know, stay for the rest of the live if you're able to. Okay. And thank you. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're Bye. welcome, Trisha. Okay. <laughs> I don't like saying goodbye to people. Okay. So anyways. <laughs> okay. So in my opinion, that, that was powerful. Trisha shared a really, really powerful testimony tonight and i'm really really proud of her um she's accomplished so much and she's thriving and um not you know because there's like there's just so much that you could be in survival mode but she is thriving and i'm very proud of her so anyways we're going to continue tonight so let me do this let me um share my screen and I did a self-care uh, today and I got my hair colored and cut and I actually got some highlights done uh, today. So I took um, some self-care time for me too. So self-care is very, very important. So I hope that <coughs> some of you will um, definitely do that. Right. Her story is very powerful. Her story is extremely powerful. So. Um, I'm very proud of her, you know, very proud of Trisha and, you know, working, um, working with Trisha is a pleasure. It's truly a pleasure. And it's always good to hear stories like hers. Exactly. 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 Her story is having an impact on people's lives. So that is for sure. Okay. So we're going to go into day three of the domestic violence self-revolution four-day workshop today is day three and tonight we are going to be talking about creating 
supportive connections and we are on day three so we are going to be talking about tonight the importance of creating a, a supportive community um we're going to highlight yesterday with the biggest takeaway so please post your biggest takeaway in the comments below and as far as the gift is concerned i am going to do the grand prize drawing um tonight so let's talk about this the importance of a supportive community so in a domestic violence situation similar to what trisha had gone through isolation is a common experience among survivors of domestic violence and the goal here is <coughs> i'm sorry to build genuine connections and to build a sisterhood of domestic violence sisters with the goal to share their experiences, offer support and exchange resources. Because guess what? We, oh, let's see what Dawn, Dawn, I started my day with worship music. Wow, that's awesome. You know what I started my day off with? I woke up at five o'clock this morning and, um, I was listening to music, meditative mu music. I did a Christian meditation. Then I did another meditation that was so serene. It almost put me to sleep again. And, um, yeah, I love, I, I play worship music too for self care. And when I was at the salon this afternoon, you know how it is when they, you know, I was lying back, you know, waiting for the glaze to settle on my hair. And I almost fell asleep. So I think I did like a little meditation um, at the salon this afternoon. So anyways, that was always a good experience. So, okay, so let's talk about this. Where are you at? So where are you at with having a supportive community and which one resonates the most? So number one, okay, are you seriously struggling with seeking support? Um, you love building relationships yet struggle with trust. And or number three, I would love to learn more about building a DV sisterhood community. So from one of these, what now are you struggling with seeking support? Is it a combination of one and two? Is it all of these? One, two, three, or is it just three? So please comment below what is the um so where you know comment below below please where you are at right now so okay and then we're going to move on so the strategy so i am going to encourage you to connect with at least one other sister and initiate an ongoing conversation so in the comments please initiate a conversation with one of your sisters and please hashtag initiate and i think um, Trisha is still here. I think she's still here. So when we initiate ongoing connections, what, what do we do? So find things in common and schedule a virtual coffee. Now, um, I had someone reach out to me tonight. Okay. So number three. Okay. Okay. So you're okay. So let me see what number three is. Number three is I would love to learn more about building a DV sisterhood community because I know that you do have support, um, Dawn. So, okay. So anyways, right. So <clears throat> scheduling a virtual coffee. So I actually had someone um, reach out to me tonight. Um, she is doing a virtual speaking event next year and she wants me, you know, she wants to get together on Zoom. So you know, I'm going to, you know, suggest a virtual coffee. So we get to know each other, you know. Um, and um, that's one of the things that I love to do is to have a virtual coffee. Um, and if you can do an in-person, that's even better. But if you can only do a virtual coffee, because we do live in a virtual world where, you know, we're all spread out, that's really great. So I encourage you to exchange contact information and commit to staying in touch with at least one other person. And also, I am encouraging you to keep each other accountable and build that deep connection because that's really, really important. 
you know? So, so here is the recap. So building a DB sisterhood in a virtual community, which I was just talking about. So initiating ongoing connections is a concrete step toward fostering a supportive community that can significantly aid the healing and recovery process after domestic violence. I encourage you to take this commitment seriously and remind your sisters that they are not alone on their journey. By staying connected and offering ongoing support, you contribute to their own healing as well as the healing of others in the community. So please comment below in the comments, hashtag connections, because you know, my goal here and what I am doing is building a um, community of sisterhood. And um, it's important that we, you know, feed off of each other. So tomorrow, which is day four, um, we're going to reach. So please reach out to someone in your support network to express gratitude or offer support. Engage in active listening and open communication to foster stronger connections. And tomorrow, we are going to be live tomorrow. Um, so tomorrow we're, I'm either going to do a Zoom meeting or I'm going to go live on StreamYard because I've been having some issues with my Zoom account. So um, what I want to do is I may be able to do an online StreamYard webinar. So I will um, figure that out. But I do, you know, I would love to do a Zoom tomorrow um, and we will celebrate your progress and we will do the drawing for the 365 Healing Daily Planner and move forward. And I'm also going to ask you to write down one thing you are proud of accomplishing during the challenge and to take a moment to celebrate your progress. So let's celebrate your wins, Super Women. So tomorrow I have an exciting announcement. Um, implementation and the DV circle empowerment program. So let's get excited. And that is it for tonight. Okay. So tomorrow, you know what I'm going to do? Um, as far as the drawing. So I posted, you will catch up. Let me just see. I will catch up on posting my homework. Okay. That's fine. Yes. Please post your homework here in the group and it will be accepted so um oh you're welcome dawn and you know i commend you for showing up because showing up 90 percent of success is showing up and um you know so i'm very proud of you that you showed up tonight that you've showed up for the three days so as far as the healing planner I am awarding that to you tonight, Dawn, because you showed up. So that is, um, so what I will do is I will um, send you the link, um, you know, tonight so you can um, take a look at that. And yes, as far as the posting the homework, definitely post the homework so we can see what your biggest takeaway is. Okay. Oh, you're welcome, Dawn. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. Very proud of you. You're you're doing amazing things, and I'm very, very proud of you. And I'm very happy to award the Healing Journal to you. So, all right, everyone. So if you're watching the replay, hashtag replay, and, um, you know, let's work on, you know, building those supportive connections. And <clears throat> as far as catching up on the homework assignments, that's fine. Um, tomorrow night, I'm going to go live at 8 p.m. Eastern. So I would allow about the same time, you know, 45 minutes. Tonight was a little bit longer. Um, so get ready because things are, you know, exciting things are happening. So I wish you all an amazing evening. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you, Tricia. And... We will see you tomorrow. Have a great night.